It was a tough, brutal and fast-flowing contest that kept their fans cheering on until the final hooter. From the get-go, it was Burma's dominance in the opening exchanges, snapping up back-to-back -back tries to take an early 12-0 lead. Emma Heads were able to compose themselves and got back into the contest, but had problems trying to contest the rocks and moles against the heavy, robust Boroma pack. This forced Heads to resort to kicking tactics, turning the bigger Boromas back. This paid off with a try to put Emma Heads back into the contest at 7-12. However, Boromas' dominance continued with another double to lead 2013 until halftime. The second stanza started the way the first half ended that saw the CRU boys turning the contest into a one-way traffic while the Heads' defense capitulated further, conceding three more unanswered tries, making Boromas undefeated throughout the championships. At full time, CRU Boromas 33, Morabe M Heads 13. It's been a long six years since both teams have competed in 15s rugby and seeing the old rivalry back on the field and its flair had reignited the love and passion for the game, which augurs well for PNG Rugby. A 30-man Puk Puk squad will be announced this week to prepare for the Oceania 15th Championships against Solomon Islands, Niue and Vanuatu from the 22nd to the 30th of October 2022 at the Sahibat Murray Stadium, Port Moresby. Terry Longwood, TV1 Sports. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.